Hello, and welcome to My Point of View Movie Reviews. Man, today is Tuesday, December the 3rd, 2019. I just got done watching The Irishman on Netflix. And man, <laughs> I love this movie. Now, I've been hearing from everybody else, man, this movie is way too long than it should have been. It was boring. It was hard to sit through. Not enough action. I totally disagree. This movie did not seem long. It did not seem boring. I was on edge from beginning to end. And there's a reason for that. And I'll explain that later. But I thoroughly enjoyed this movie. In fact, when it was over, I was like, oh, shoot, it's over? I wanted more. That's how much I enjoyed this movie. Now, we'll give one secret away. I took about an hour break because I had to take my son and his best friend to baseball conditioning for the high school and it was there for like 45 minutes and I brought them back so I had like an hour break in between the movie but still I sat through this movie not bored at all and I was thoroughly engulfed in this story now the premise of the story Jimmy Hoffa is the president of the Teamsters, and he did some dirty dealings with the mafia, exchanging of monies. That is your MacGuffin of the story. The main premise of the story is the story life of Frank, the Irishman. This man served tour and war. He was a family man. He was a hard worker. He was a member of the Teamsters. He used to deliver meat on meat trucks to different businesses. And then, you know, Frank was not just a good worker. He did some side dealings on the side, uh, uh, taking some of these meat products to the Italians, you know, cutting them a side deal, making him some little extra to that bread. And he got caught and one thing about the Teamsters, they don't let you get fired. They deal with your boss. They deal with the business. If they can't prove you was doing something wrong, they just can't fire you because the Teamsters won't let them. That's the power of the union. And the reason why I have so much love for this movie, I used to work for UPS. I was an employee there for 11 years. Yes, I was driving on big old brown trucks with some tight-ass brown shorts delivering. But... We were union. And UPS is a global company. It is absolutely huge. Either you work for UPS in management and you're all about the business, or you are an employee of UPS and you work for the union because that's what protects you. So there's a big division between big business and also the union. And trust me, the government sides with the big business. I don't know if y'all remember back in 1997 when UPS went on strike, I was part of that strike. And it was so bad out here in California, President Clinton at the time was visiting in Tahoe. He brought his country ass to Sacramento and sat down with the union reps and UPS. Straighten this shit out. I'm not getting my damn packages. <laughs> so it affected the White House, so something had to be done. That's how powerful the union is. We went on strike and the world stopped for two weeks because people were getting their packages. Every single day, UPS was on CNN, MSNBC. It was world news, not local, world news. So the union and big business is a big thing. And Robert De Niro, Al Pacino, Joe Pesci came back together to work for this incredible director come on now it's based on truth and also a novel but i can truly relate to the story because being in the construction industry and trucking i know what it's like when a when a job now at my job when a truck pulls into the dock it's got to have a tag on it and i got to cut that tag to make sure no merchandise was tampered with. In the movie, you see Frank was taking that tag and throwing it in his little sleeve and driving off and putting it on later. See, those are things that if you're not into the trucking industry, you just don't know. That's how I was able to steal all that meat for so long. And Al Pacino playing Jimmy Hoffa. 
See, I was part of the Teamsters 150, the local 150. Well, guess who started that chapter? Jimmy Hoffa himself. So I know about the man's history. I was a member in his Teamsters union. So I know how the whole thing goes down. Like I used to get free tickets from the union reps to go to Kings games here in Sacramento. They wanted me to be a good employee, but at the same time be a lookout for what goes on around things because minorities always got treated differently at UPS. If you was black, Hispanic, Asian, you did not get the same treatment as them white boys driving them trucks. But that's another story. This movie dove in deep into the life of Frank. This man became a hit man overnight. He had practice because he was in the military. He had the enemy dig their own ditches and their graves. When they were done, they was begging for the life. He still shot him and <laughs> it fell into the damn grave. Frank was a cold, hard killer. So when he made when he met Joel Pesci's um, character, he got pulled into the mob. And when they like you, they take care of you. Want you to do a job here. Want you to do a job here. You know, I want you to paint some houses if you know what I mean. And see, growing up in Sacramento, one of the first families I ran into was my neighbors down the street, the Samarias. Now, my buddy Tony Samarias' father father was a godfather so i've been around italians a good portion of my life and i work for the teamsters so i know all about big business i know all about the union so this movie had me at hello at the very beginning i was totally into the story that's why i was never bored to me if you don't know the ins and odds about that kind of lifestyle you might find this movie kind of boring maybe you was expecting goodfellas or The Godfather, uh-uh, this ain't this type of movie. Yes, there's mob dealings, there are mob hits, but this movie is a slow burn with a different message, and the union is kind of the MacGuffin of the whole story. So if you're not into that, yeah, this movie's gonna be boring to you. I wasn't a big fan of Scarface growing up. It was a cool flick. I didn't see what the hoopla was about. Now, I love Goodfellas, and I love Casino, but this is not that type of movie. The performances across the board, incredible. I see why there's Oscar buzz all over this movie. You got Al Pacino, who might be up for Best Supporting Actor. Al Pacino was in my other favorite movie of the year, uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. The man is blowing it up this year. Then you got um, Robert De Niro, who might be up for Best Actor of the Year. The man was also in my other favorite movie of the year, Joker. Okay, these men did three great movies this year. The third one being The Irishman, which they're both in. And kudos to Netflix for picking up this joint and spending those extra monies. The de-aging effect did not take me out of the movie, not one bit. In fact, they did a great job. It looked wonderful. People complaining they still look like they was old men the way they move. Who cares? This is royalty at its finest when it comes to acting. You won't see this again in the same frame in cinema again. So, you know, take it for what it is. This is great. This is when Ali got old, yeah, he looked bad. <laughs> you know, when Emmett Smith was reaching for that last yard to be the number one running back of all time, the man looked a little slow. I get it. <laughs> you know, when... People are at the apex, they're also at the end of their career. They slow down and it looks bad. I get it. But it's still royalty and it's still greatness, and we should applaud them and also honor them. This movie is damn near a masterpiece. I love this film. I couldn't believe how good it was. From a technical standpoint, Scorsese, I mean Martin Scorsese, just incredible mastery behind the film, man. The opening shot, the camera's in the dark, then it pulls forward into the light, and you're in an um, old folks home. And that's where you meet Robert De Niro's character, Frank, and starts talking about his past. The way the camera pan through the old folks home, up and down, there's just some incredible shots. They was in a restaurant earlier in the movie, they was all taking shots, and they showed it from the side view, grabbed the, uh, the bottle, 
the, the, a shot glass and take a shot and all of a sudden the camera's like this they show them doing like this great camera work man that's masterful camera work at its best the dude's cinematography was incredible the dialogue the script was definitely on point the essence of Italians how they talk and use certain language amongst each other um, I'm a little concerned a little concern that means you in trouble well we're a little bit more than a little bit concerned that means you're dead this movie did not shun away from nothing if you got Netflix please watch this movie and take your time to do it it is Oscar worthy it's worth your time I wish I would have seen us in theaters that's how great this movie was I said the Lord of the Rings three hours ain't nothing when the movie's entertaining and I don't mean action-packed shoot them up there was enough action to pull you in because somebody got killed in this movie you didn't forget it was graphic and it was like oh shit I whoa ho 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 movie is wonderful the Irishman have you seen it if you did let me know what you think down low and hey leave your comments like share subscribe tell all your friends as always, you know how I get down, yo. It's just my point of view. Hello. Now, I hope you really enjoyed this video. Without you, there's no me. And do us a favor. Stop by the website at www.blacktastic.net and pick up some merchandise. Get yourself a hat or pick up a t-shirt. It's things like that that help keep the channel going. And also, feel free to leave a donation on the home page at www.blacktastic.net. Thank you all so much. Again, you make this so much fun. Without you, there's no me. Until next time, see you later.